everybody, I'm Christy Jordan with southernplate.com and I'm coming to you today. Actually, I'm in my wheelchair today, <laughs> so I got out of bed for you. Um, this is my hospital bed next to me. You see this pink thing? That's um, duct tape to hold that electrical cord there so I can charge my wheelchair <laughs> because I can't reach and get things off the floor and stuff. So, you know, we've done all kinds of modifications to make this work. Um, but today um, I'm going to be doing a couple of chat videos throughout the day, talking with you, chatting with you about the Southern Plate magazine. Um, and so I asked yesterday if y'all had, oops, I just, I need to turn my wheelchair off. I just moved it forward. Um, if y'all had any questions for me or anything you wanted to chat about or anything that you particularly liked about the magazine, I got a lot of comments and I've, I've gotten a lot of emails on this chocolate pudding on the cover. Um, yes, it's, it's actually better than it looks. Um, I mean, it, it looks wonderful, but it tastes even better. That was a recipe my mom insisted that I develop for her. Um, there was a restaurant near her that had something similar. And so I developed a recipe for her that uses cocoa powder. Um, and actually cocoa powder and chocolate chips instead of baking chocolate. Because baking chocolate is expensive and it's not something that I keep on hand. So I know a lot of y'all probably don't keep it on hand either. So that's a very simple recipe that is sure to become a family heirloom. Um, and a lot of people have tried it. Several people have made it multiple times <laughs> already and y'all like it as much as we do so I'm glad to hear that um Debbie Kinsey I believe it was let me see yes Debbie Kinsey she said Christy I love the magazine wish it was monthly thank you I do too Hoffman um <laughs> first um I love the look and the feel of the magazine yeah that's one of the things that I love about all the Hoffman publications the feel of the paper is very different. It's a really thick, high-quality paper, even inside the magazine. Um, Adore the beginning article, Every Dish Tells a Story. Ah, thank you. This is, um, I show, let me go back so I can see what I'm showing y'all here. Um, I show some of my Pyrex collection, and I explain um, how I began collecting. I also talk about, I give you tips on how to buy vintage dishes, how to find them, get the best prices. And then I tell you how to take care of them um, and how to use them in your everyday cooking and baking in your kitchen. Then I even talk about, you know, what's on my kitchen counter. And I tell the story behind some of the things that I have out on my counter. Um, and then, so that's that's one of the, the intro articles in the magazine um, that I really enjoy doing. Um, she said she also, I have a few recipes on my to-try list, especially the baked catfish, as fish is something I don't cook often. Yes, that's one of my favorite recipes in here. Um, I'm trying to find it so I can show y'all a picture. Let me see. As most of y'all know, I don't eat seafood unless contractually obligated is what I say. Um, I've done TV shows and things where I was a judge and I had to eat seafood. I'm able to eat seafood and tell you objectively, yes, this is good. You know, this is prepared well and this is good and this is delicious. Um, <coughs> still, <coughs> dogs. That's my um, redneck alarm system. I call it Dogmageddon. If a squirrel so much just comes up on the porch, Dogmageddon ensues. Um, but, no, um, but I don't personally enjoy seafood. Um, but catfish is one of the things I do like. Um, so this is my baked catfish. In there, it's a great, it's a no fuss recipe. And, you know, everything in here is part of a menu. I have... Um, 20 complete menus, over 80 recipes, and the menu, of course, you can mix and match, but just to give you some ideas, because, you know, I don't like thinking about coming up with menus myself all the time. I want to just, sometimes you just want to have it handed to you. So this menu is cornmeal and green onion muffins, um, crunchy butter-baked catfish, new potato salad, and filled peas with sausage and thyme. And that's what that picture looks like. It is delicious. Um, another thing that she's made is the Dr. Pepper cupcakes. And there is an entire dessert chapter, something sweet. This really, it's a magazine, but it really reads, it's really more like a cookbook, you know. And because of the quality of the paper, you can keep it like it is a cookbook. Um, so here's the double Dr. Pepper cupcakes. A lot of people have made those. And I'm getting a lot of great response on those. So that's great. Um, this is one of my personal favorite menus in here. Is the um, honey and cider vinegar based chicken, skillet fried okra, and buttermilk mashed potatoes. Wouldn't you like to come home to that? Oh yeah. 
That'll make your husband come home early. I know, because I've done this. It does actually make him come home early. Um, and then let's see what else we've got here. I'm just going to read a couple comments at a time. Um, oh, um, Auntie Dash said, um, I love the quality of the magazine, the feel of the paper, the beauty of the presentation, your tips, your thoughts, your hints boxes, the pantry checklist, and especially how your suggestion on a meal page for a course, especially your suggestion on a meal page for a corresponding dessert. Our favorite recipe so far is the slow cooker pork chops and that beautiful rice dish. So that's the slow cooker pork chops and Vidalia onion gravy. It actually makes its own gravy as it cooks. That's one of my favorites too. Everything in here is my favorite, actually. So you heard a lot from me. And we've been slowly working our way through all the desserts. Wow. Okay. So that's we want to go to we want to go to um, Auntie Dash's house, but. Anyway, that's all for this video. I want to keep these kind of short and sweet. Um, and if you have any, any, you know, I want to talk about any of the recipes you've made in the magazine, um, anything you really love from the magazine, um, you know, just any thoughts you have, or if you want to ask me any questions, it can be about the magazine, it can be about anything else, um, you just let me know, and I'll address it in another video in just a minute. I'm going to actually, I'm going to show you all my new driving skills. You know, I'm, I'm a pacer. I do not sit still in one place. Um, and so that's been very difficult for me. Um, well, there's been a lot of things about having both of my legs broken that's been challenging. Let's just say that. Um, but I borrowed an electric wheelchair. So, um, and I've slowly worked my way up. I can go very fast now. Let's see here. Well, I'm not going to go too fast. I don't want to have a wreck on camera. Oh, there. See, already bumped into something. We're definitely going to have to repaint the walls when all this is said and done. <laughs> I need to watch that movie, um, The X Men. That you know, you know that Patrick Stewart's character. He's in a wheelchair. Um, I keep telling my kids that's who I am. I'm like, I need to watch the movie so I can learn some of his lines or something. But yeah, this is how I pace now during the day. I just go back and forth and back and forth. I do circles in the kitchen. Um, so it's and I move furniture. This thing is so powerful. When you run into furniture. You just move it. <laughs> it's nice. It's been great. But my husband, um, bless his heart, you know, we've just got, we've got a lot on our plate right now, obviously, um, with one of us down, you know. So um, it's very difficult to keep up with everything. And uh, he keeps forgetting to charge my wheelchair at night. <laughs> so it's like, I've actually got it set up. So um, if my if my wheelchair doesn't work, I'm okay just staying in the bed all day. I have, um, I have some bananas and I have bottles of water and stuff. And so, you know, I won't die if I end up having to stay in bed all day one day because I'm stuck there. But anyway, <laughs> um, so we're chatting about the Southern Plate Magazine today. I've also had one last thing. I've had a lot of people ask, where can you get the magazine? If you're having a problem finding it where you live, um, newsstands are already selling out and they won't be restocking on this because it's a limited edition thing. So you need to look for it very soon. It's not going to be on newsstands much longer. But you can also order it. I will put the link in the first comment under this video. You can order it online with free shipping from the Hoffman Media Store. So, hey, sweetie. Hey, baby. My little dogs take care of me. Um, so, But you do need to try to get it soon if you want your copy. This is an, this is an heirloom. If you like my cookbooks, I would really encourage you to get this magazine. Um, it, all the recipes are exclusive just to this. So you won't see these anywhere else. And... Um, it doesn't come with a sweet little dog, but I'm sure they'd be happy to sample some of the food if you made it. <laughs> I'll talk to you soon. If you have any other questions, comments, anything, um, ask, in, ask below this video, and I'll address them in the next video. Thank you. Bye.